it is Tuesday, but technically like my Monday of my work week because I was off yesterday, so I'm like just catching up. I'm actually like crashed on the living room couch with my work laptop just pounding out some work and getting as much done. Uh, I didn't sleep a lot last night, so I was already, I started technically working around 2.30 this morning. Um, so I've already gotten a lot done and I'm like kind of ahead of the game and it's like 10.43, but um, I have a couple Zoom conference call meetings at 11.30 and then some other ones in the afternoon. Um, and just sending out like outlooks for all the other meetings this week and just doing all the things. But it is 10.43, I'm going to continue to do some work. Steven is really busy this morning, like super busy. The mailman just came, Bubba's, you'll hear him. Yeah, you'll hear him and uh, he's warding off the mailman. But uh, yeah, we're just working. Hope you're all doing well. I hope you all had an amazing Easter. I hope you are staying home. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying well. And I hope today you've already counted all the things to be grateful for. Leave them down below. I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Well, I'm taking a break from work. We got a shipment of wine. So the wine fridge is stocked. And then I also got an order from Studio McGee that I had placed. So a couple of the pieces I got, I got this amazing basket. I'm actually thinking of putting this on the console table um, in the living room. I got these pots. Those are gonna most likely go outside. Got this beautiful glass vase with these gray beads, but I've been like toying with it. If I like these beads around it more, I'm just gonna keep messing. Um, and then what I'm really bummed about, and I just emailed them, is I ordered two really large terracotta bowls. This one side is completely busted out. And then this poor friend is just like shattered to pieces. So just emailed them and going to see how quickly they get back to me. And then let's do an office update in here. Well. What? Oh, look, squirrel with a prom dress. She's once again overdressed for a Tuesday. She definitely looks more active than this one. I got an assistant for a reason. This is really not working out. I mean, Baba's. When are you gonna fire him? He needs to be fired. She's actually doing. I know. That. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, let me stretch. I'm so busy. Well, she's been doing filing, uh, taking calls, and uh, she actually she wrote a legal brief for me. Actually. Today. Nice. You wore some vibrant blue socks today. Well. I just did laundry. Laundry was running low. <laughs> <laughs> That's a vibrant blue for your khaki and olive green. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have a blue shirt on. Um, what are these? Oh, I think I got Get it. to work. Now he wants to hire an assistant for his assistant. And I said no. We got the budget. No way. I just did my budget for Q4. Or oh, wait, is it Q1? Q2? Quarter? Yeah. Yeah, I think it would be Q3 coming up. Well, I just did my budget for Q3. My assistant needs an assistant. Well, if you would stop, if you would, ha if you would spend less time barking at male people and the UPS guy, maybe you would have more time to work. What do you think of that? And also, what's this over here? What's she doing? <laughs> no, over here, looky. What's she doing? Wait, I'm gonna get her. Get to work. He has, maybe you need to work on your obsession with delivery people. All right, so that's an office update. Also had some flowers delivered from Urban Stem. They're so beautiful. Uh, hopefully they, they open up a little bit more. Just got them in some water. Um, have a couple more meetings this afternoon and then we'll catch up. Oh, and then over here, I'm already making some dinner. And I just have, I'm making some homemade chicken noodle soup tonight for dinner. Thought it seemed simple enough. So, have some onions, garlic, celery, thyme, a little bit of oregano, carrots, all just simmering in some chicken stock. Then I already have the chicken shredded. It's in the fridge, throw in some noodles, call it a day.
All right, I'm gonna get ready for my next meeting and then we'll catch up. Did a quick mini restyling and I like that so much more than those three white lanterns. So I just grabbed a stack of books, two of the terracotta pots, and then that one set of beads kind of coming out of it. And then big glass vase over here, tangled the gray beads around it, really like it. Yeah, I really do like it. Emailed them about these two bowls. We'll see what they have to say. Hopefully we can fix it. Also added a few pieces into this cabinet just to bring the terracotta. I realized I really didn't have any terracotta in that space. And then that bowl that's chipped, I'm still waiting for them to see what they want me to do with it, but it's broken on the other side of it. It's cracked the whole way down to the bottom, but there's a whole piece of the lip that's missing. But I put it up there for now because you can't see it. The chicken noodle soup is done. What else is, oh, I know what else I wanted to show you. So, this door, oh, it's open, has been driving me crazy because it was white and it always looked dirty. And I also just wanted to add a little bit more style to the mudroom entry. So I decided to paint it this dark gray paint that I had down in the basement. It's a really nice high quality exterior paint. So I painted both sides of the door and I just love the like pop of color that now brings to this space. If you want to add just some character and a pop, paint a door. It was like easy peasy. Closet doors in a bedroom, anything like that. It will add a nice layer of personality and color. So I have not filmed like anything today just because Steve and I both have like worked. It is 6.30 at night. Um, and it's been like a very, very busy day. <sighs> but super productive. Tonight for dinner, if you're following me on Instagram, you would have seen I made spaghetti squash. Here's my tip for spaghetti squash. Do not cut it long ways and roast it on your pan. Cut it in discs, seed them out, 400 degrees, 15 minutes one side, flip it over 15 minutes, let it cool for 15 minutes, peel off the rind, um, and then just shred it. They're like perfect al dente noodles. It also helps cut down on how much moisture um, and how watery they can get. Um, so that's a tip from me to you. It's super simple. Then we just heated up some marinara sauce and I need a caprese salad as well to go with it. So that was dinner this evening. Like I said, it's 6.30. I try to decompress with a glass of wine. I started a new book, Madam President. I've only read the first three chapters. They're very good, um, but I can't tell you much about it. So basically what it is, is she is the 45th president serving her second term and um, she has been faced with like the biggest national disaster. Tensions are high. It's apparently there's also like secrets around the staff and all sorts of drama. So there's like the big political drama and then all like the little personal dramas. So I love a good political thriller. I can get behind any book about a female president. Um, so super excited to read it. I've enjoyed the first three chapters.